My name is Rapsony. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. Advanced Gungeons and Dragons. Roll that d20. That is a 17. We are safe yet again. <clears throat> so it is just going to be Hunter for the nine bullet shark kills. And whatever else we happen to get up to over the course of it. There have been a couple of suggestions on what to do for crit conditions on uh, the upper side of the d20. The best suggestions I've seen for how to handle that, though, are all things that I can't yet do uh, until I have Mod the Gungeon installed. So, as soon as we have Mod the Gungeon installed, we can start talking about exactly what we're going to be doing for crit conditions on a crit roll high. I'm thinking that we just like splash occasional modded content into the main series for this game rather than just add another series because then uh, then things get annoying like there has to be like one series going in one direction one series going in the other direction and usually they're on two different save files and either both of them have to be daily or they alternate in the same slot i'm thinking we just spice up the actual enter the gungeon series as well in particular, the suggestion I'm thinking about was if you get the crit condition, crit 20, choose one item and give it to yourself. I like that. In particular, I would probably endeavor to choose a different one every time. And sometimes try and choose things that are going to set me up for the future. Sometimes try and choose things that are just super powerful by base that I can then run the rest of the game with. That kind of thing. You know. I think it'll be I think it'll be interesting. That said, those crit conditions might need to move in. We might need to roll like a D12 instead of a D20 or something like that, just because even by expanding the pool from just one to one and two, we're still just not really getting any low rolls, or at least they're not happening often enough to really influence the experience of the series. Go for boss kill. I'm just gonna stand here and take all of the world's easiest pot shots at you. Thank you for trying. Skate along the very bottom of the map. Perfect. One more attack. Excellent. Now I'll go over the top, and that's exactly the attack I didn't want you to do at exactly the time I didn't want you to do it. So, you know, well done on that. I'm going to cut across really early here. Just because of that aggressive circle. Alright, I didn't like that at all. I'm cutting across really early here as well. Yep. Yeah, I didn't need to use that blank there, but... Helps me feel safer. Unfortunately, that does mean that a secret room is going to be out of our grasp. Alright, I'll take a light gun. Not really going to do that much with it, but... Damn! Because I immediately find the secret room. So if I can damage myself in that room... Come on! Oh, what? Oh, the slight inaccuracy of the crossbow strikes again. It was actually enough to very slightly not hit that dynamite there and ruin everything. Good clear on that room, though. Yeah. Well, at the very least, we didn't lose any red HP to this gun nut, so we're not going to lose any money that they drop instead. Yikes! The chests here on the first floor suck. I'm gonna open this one actually because it's also gonna give me access to the secret room, and it gave me another key back as well. Not bad. Not bad. Uh -huh. Excalibur, also not bad. Yeah, I think I just destroyed the other chests. You. 
which I guess makes crossbow then Excalibur my kind of weapon selection. Okay. Not half bad. We'll go crossbow first, then Excalibur. I mean, we could even just go to the the cult instead of the Excalibur and still probably be fine. Thank you for Kate. Good lord. Hell of a lot of them going on. Thank you, Dicebulon, for cooperating. Mini boss. Definitely got to be a light gun sitch. Not a huge fan of the fact that I already took a hit here, but eh, whatever. It'll happen. I hate this fight. Please. Please just die. I can't kill all of these. Damn it. I I still hate this boss. I just really hate it. It feels like it has a weird amount of HP. Like sometimes it has none. Like it's just so easy to kill. And then sometimes... Well, sometimes it isn't. Very much willing to have any ammo, please, that the video game might like to throw my way. Alright, well, guess we're rocking Excalibur for the moment. Uh, I'm destroying this chest. There was extraordinarily little chance there that that was ultimately going to be a good thing for us. Lock him in. Um, show me what you got, shop. Ooh, key shop! Uh, Ring of Chest Friendship is always really good. As long as you can supply your own keys. And I guess if we just bought both of the keys in that store as well, we'd get off to a reasonable start for that. Damn it. <laughs> I really wanted to hit him with the swing. Woo, another key as well. Not bad. Okay, and outie. Damn it. Hell yeah, got him with a reload. Dying to do that since I picked this up. Still probably going to be light bomb. Light bomb? Uh, still probably going to be light gun in the boss room. I meant to say that. Damn it, I really thought that reload was going to be enough damage. It's supposed to be a hell of a lot. You too. Got him. Nice. Find our final room and... Eh. Ensure there's loot in here. <sighs> Fine, we'll go... And Light gun Excalibur here. The fact that the Excalibur is penetrative and the light bomb. Ah! Ah! What the hell? How did you get it? It should have been so dead by then. Please die, Nubbin! 
Gosh. Yeah, I was thinking the penetrative shots were going to be a real hit here, but apparently not. Okay, uh... Alright, and now we're back to the pistol here. Okay. You need to stop eating the nubbins, otherwise I'm not going to be able to win this fight, bud. I am amazed that we are still perfecting this fight. Holy hell! We perfected that fight, right? We did. Wow! <laughs> That's a pretty frantic fight to have, uh, correct, uh, to, to have perfected there. Feel actually really proud of that. I did have to use all of my blanks, but that's okay. I do want the ring of chess friendship. I also want these rings. So even gonna take Daruma, try and use it actually effectively. Then we'll open these other two green chests, and then we'll leave. Bossed on that one, unfortunately. Metronome is a huge hit, though. Gotta try and find the right weapon I want to use this on, though. Okay, so Metronome is going to increase our damage every single time that we get a kill with a weapon. Uh, and it will lower that increase. Yeah, nothing else I can really do. Cool. Uh, it will lower itself back to base damage if we ever take damage or if we ever change weapon. So, got to choose your weapon early on. I don't really have the ability to choose a weapon right now just because my weaponry is so garbage. So I'm just going to have to stick with the default here. Shell. Maybe I end up at a point where the shell actually deals reasonable damage. That would be so cool. Actually getting to use the shell as an offensive item. Yeah, I could be down with that. Yeah. Whoo! Yeah, let's just get out of this sitch because this weapon takes a long time to reload, doesn't really do that much damage, isn't that accurate, and I would very much like to not take any more damage here. But... work? Hell yeah. That looks like it could have been a really complicated uh, area to have to make my way around. Using naught but the club. All right. Thankfully, since the weapon was immediately given to me, it didn't count as me picking it up. Which means that I get to maintain my damage bonus. And as long as I keep leading y'all around corners, we should be totally okay. Wait, what? It changed my weapon and lost my damage bonus. That sucks. Flash. Ah, savior of the universe. Dun, 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 dun. Um. I don't really know why my crossbow didn't. All oh, right, because it's two shots to a kill right now. Damn. Okay, back to the main staging area. Have to move this keyboard a little bit. Beautiful. Gosh, we're gonna have to change weapon unless we basically get uh, ammo at the end of this room. 
Armor Synthesizer is very powerful. Well, didn't really have a choice in that. I have to swap the weapon. Double damage until the next time I get hit. All right, let's go. Woo! All right, this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be exciting. Okay. Because if I can stack the damage bonus from Meat Bun and metronome on top of one another we can end up with like a real damage bonus we're talking like problematic game design damage bonus okay and especially on flash ray on flash ray it's penetrative as well as instantaneous Yeah? Uh, it's gonna be a rough boss fight, I'll tell you that much. Got that line down. I'm eh, not interested. I guess I'll take it just to see if it has any synergy, which it doesn't. Whew, good luck on that being the right target, hell yeah. It's three shots to take one of them down and two shots to take one of those. Hell yeah. It's working perfectly. This is doing a ridiculous amount of damage. I love this. You can actually one shot that as well. Hey, Batman. Um, and time to leave. Okay, Daruma, I'm going to have to use you correctly here. Doing some very good damage work here. Stay at a lot longer range than I'd like to, but all works out in the end. Hell yeah. All right, we need to keep this stocked up with ammunition. And also not pick up any other weapon that we don't think is going to be better than this. Tommy gun? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that's going to be better than this. I don't think we take it. Lodestone amulet is really good. That's going to improve Daruma for us. Plunger is not. Don't want that. All right, we'll take the junk though. And, oh God, armor synthesizer. Whoa, it's so powerful. Oh, I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to. It's too much, too much to not. Uh, I'm thinking. Thank you. I was right. Cool. That one's a mimic, though. Come on, then. Please die. Thank you. Uh, don't really care about the fossilized skull. Mm, don't really care about the flare gun. Don't really care about the... 
Play grenade either. All right, so I guess we're turning down a bunch of guns there. A little bit lame on my part, yes. But if we manage to keep this flash ray going, this can be really cool. And imagine if we get an accuracy up. It's two-shotting them. Hell yes. Right. Yes, it's a little bit of a dice roll when you shoot from afar. But if you get up close, you're kind of okay. A bunch of those shots went directly through the target, though. I think even the target would admit that. goes our damage bonus. All of them, in fact. Yeah. Ah, well. So lame. Had to happen eventually. Ha 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 ha! Oh, they were perfectly spaced. That worked. Guess I'm gonna swap to this weapon as the weapon I buff up ridiculously. back in the other direction. <laughs> you almost got me. Excellent. Well, this is just a metronome loss room. See? Wait, I still have my metronome? No, 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 no. Run that one again. Check that again. That doesn't happen to me. That's more like what happens to me. There we go. Okay. Uh, all right. Now start summoning, buddy. Damn it! Stop hitting me! It's always just when I think they're going to let their guard down and I can start hitting them. Just then. They perfectly bait it. Well, it's now starting to one-shot the ankle biters, which is nice. Okay. We're going to run out of ammunition on this gun, but by the time we run out of ammunition in it, it will be a reasonable weapon. Damn, 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 damn. All right. Gosh. We don't actually have good rune glares right now. So we kind of do have to rely on things like this. Now, part of why we don't have a good rune clears is definitely because I gave them literally all up last floor. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's probably it has something to do with the fact that I gave up a bunch of them last floor so that I could maintain my metronome bonus on a gun that I soon lost the metronome bonus on. Yes, all of that is true, but I would still very much like to complain about it. Wolf. All right. We got the wolf and the dog and there's no synergy. Bad. Excellent. I'll just be taking my combine rifle and going for the room clears. Uh, try and get a couple more room clears before we go for the boss. Oh no. Yeah, we gave the wrong weapon to that red cloak there. Sales great, nothing else that I really care about. All right, let's go into the boss fight. Um, Darume isn't working? Like Darume didn't work that literally entire time. What the hell? Do those not count as bullets because they were like, quote unquote environmental-ish. Okay, Daruma was gonna work on one of those hits. Why not these ones? Yeah, I already, I got myself out of orders. So ruins my ability to actually dodge those attack waves. Ugh. I had my entire game plan set on the outcome of actually being able to use that, the Daruma. I mean, I can use it right now. It'll clear those. It's a bit too late for that now. Oof. Yep. This all sucks. All right, let's go to the next floor. Hope that there's something there for us, because good lord, we may actually... Oh, no, of course, we can go to the Hunter's Past. Nice. Perfect hiding place for us. Hell yeah. Got them all down. Again, I couldn't Daruma there. All right, the inconsistency of Daruma is actually starting to make me hate it. If it doesn't work for all bullets, what is it worth? Because since it happens in such a short window after... I guess we're changing weapon. Oh, the Magnum and the other pistol are held at the same time. Okay. It's going to be kind of cool. Okay, I'm not used to using this gun. Sorry. It's going to be a lot of why we're bad here. But if the room doesn't work on everything, because it has such a short timer that you can actually use it in after you dodge the hit. It's something that you are expected to use as reflex. But if it's not working on some attacks, that's useless. Got him. Got him. Cool. Right. Uh... Yes, we do got to find a way to get some clears here. Using 
the crossbow for a wee bit. Now that one I actually could have used the Daruma. Muscle relaxing! Yes! Uh, okay, that do that apparently doesn't have the diazepam synergy with this anymore. Uh, but it does mean we have accuracy up on all of those other things we've been using. And those are going to benefit pretty ridiculously from just a little bit of accuracy up. Okay. I hate that this doesn't have the diazepam synergy anymore. That's, um... 50% damage up. It used to be 150% damage up on anything that was a bow. Or a rifle. But now it's basically just 50% damage up on anything that says it's a rifle. It's also not working out right now. Um, okay, please stop firing. Where is this resummoner? Ah! I hate you so much. Last time you get me. Stay down here. Firing my Magnum. Okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to get Daruma charged back up here. That really seems a good way to get the damage out. Oh, I really need more ammunition. I'm going to wait until the end of this room. Wolf, you're supposed to be biting. Wolf. Wolf, what are you doing? Wow. It literally couldn't even buy. This is just a huge bug. The wolf is, like, incapable of dealing damage right now. Great. Well done. You got it. Now I have to die to this. Oh, gosh. Well, nice try on that one, Chain Gunner. Or just slightly hardier stock than that, I think you'll find. Um, that hexagon would be so, so huge. Which is why I'm not going to buy anything. Including the armor that could help us stay alive. Because instead, we can save our money, get that hexagon, and then live. We have to change gun again. At least we get to waste the ammunition of a bad gun. It was not only a mimic, but it was jammed. Come on. Get lined up to get hit by the energy ball. Thank you. Phoenix? Yeah, it's probably not really worth. Uh, all right, we'll go back to the hexagon. Take the hexagon. The hexagon has the diazepam synergy. And now this is going to be the gun that we... Oh, it also has the wolf synergy, right? So if I stand still for a couple seconds. 
It powers itself up and its next shot's more powerful. Oh my gosh. Yellow Chamber is in there as well. All right, let's not try and test the standstill feature yet. That's a high tier feature. We'll check that out later. You know, when we have HP. If we ever have HP. shot off in time, but rolled in the same direction as the bullet. Caught it on the other uh, side and hit myself. Ugh, lame. So damned lame. Mm-hmm. Bad roll on my part right there. Good safe escape of that room. Sure, I'll take that ammunition as well. Thank you. Mm, now we're actually going to have to fight the boss with literally a half heart. So, well, we'll see how this goes. Um, probably going to destroy both of those chests beforehand as well. I'll take that. Machine fire, sure. See, this is why I maintain my keys, because sometimes you need all of them. All right. So our best is probably going to be Stinger and then Mega Dowser on the offhand. Try and use the rumor as often as possible. Wow. For some reason, that felt urgent and dire. I did not like that. And rumor is back up and is ready to go. Okay, it's looking like we're not really dealing that much damage to the enemy at all. A concerningly low amount. Ah, rolled way too early against the wall there. That's actually a legitimate death on the hunter as well. The hunter being one of my favorite characters. That's just a bunch of poor play because I wanted to specifically get the meat bun to hang around. Like, I would rather have tried to get the meat bun to hang around and do a, like a really cool meat bun plus metronome kind of run uh, than to dilute the run by picking up all of those other weapons. Sure, I would have had better room clear weapons the next floor. I would have lost less HP and I probably would have uh, would not have died. But you gotta, you gotta go big. You gotta go big sometimes because that's how the zany and crazy things happen. For the moment, my name is Rhapsody. The name of the game is Man is Gungeon. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.